Campus Hero Program tomorrow. Here's what I'm going to do. What's up, YouTube? We are back. Yes, sir. Now, Campus Hero, we've already dropped a video on all the players. Now, let's make sure we explain to you how to attack this promo. There is going to be three different ways to attack this promo. The first way is always the easiest and best method possible. And that's just snipe and repost, right? And so we already know that they're going to have lots of different ways or a few different ways to get 80s. There's going to be 80s, which are called underclassmen. They're going to be 84s that are going to be called varsity. And there's going to be 87s that are called all conference. I'm assuming the reroll is going to be 80 plus. With that said, they also have another two sets that are going to be uh, you're going to be able to access 80 overall cards. So both of them are going to involve get -a golds or gold players, I should say, that are going to go into the 80 overall set. From there, you can make the 80 overall set into the 84 if you want. Um, the rerolls, like I said, we don't know what's in it. I'm assuming it's going to be 80 plus. We don't know what the details on it or anything like that. But the first method, like I said, is always going to be snipe and repost. So let's make sure that we go ahead and show you a little bit about it and show you some of the filters or how to break this stuff down a little bit without having to favorite everything. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to 8081. Now, I don't know what the prices are going to be tomorrow, guys. I'm going to be at work. That's why I'm making the video today so you guys can know what the prices are. But you can see right here. 80s. I never go by the first number. I always go by around in here, somewhere around in here. You can see 8K right now is 81s, okay? So tomorrow, if you go and check the filter and it says 8K, now you can't check it right away. You can't check it right away when everything drops. You got to check it about 15, 30 minutes later to find out what the cards are going for. Does that make sense? I hope that understands. So this is called lazy selling anyways. Um, but you're going to go, it's 80 overall. We're going to go we're going to sell it for 8K, which means we got to buy it for approximately 6,500 to make 7, 000, or to make 700 per. So if we buy it for 6,500, sell it for 8K. Now, uh, after tax, you get 7,200 back. Bang, boom, we got 700 profit every roll. Now, you're not going to be able to do it just by looking at this filter, though. You're going to have to break it down. You could go quarterback and break it down that way. That would be fine. But you're probably going to want to go to program and click on the campus hero program in order to get it broken down really broken down right does that make sense so you're definitely going to want to break it down by program make sure you do by program go to campus heroes obviously it's not up yet because this is a day before go to whatever position you want and so on now the next thing you want to make sure you do is you do want to go to newest if you don't see newest at 59 minutes you have to break it down even more so for me example is if there's only one halfback, which I'm pretty sure there's more than one halfback. I'll try to find filters that only have one one player on it, not three or four. Uh, and I'll just hit those ones directly. I'm not going to go and search by individual players. You can. You can definitely go to your items and, and search, search that way. That would probably be a, an okay way too. But snipe and repost 80s. Uh, will definitely be something that will be fire tomorrow, especially since I'm assuming 80s is going to be out of this pack a lot. Uh, the next thing is 84s. Again, doing the exact same thing, uh, going by this, going by position. Now, again, you're definitely going to want to look. You can see right now at all, this is the lazy filter. You can see cards right now selling for uh, you know, 26K, right? We're going to go down to the third one. We're seeing it 26K. Well, 26K after tax is about 24, nope, yeah, 20, yeah, no, 23 something. So you'd want to buy them for 22K or less. Uh, again, make sure you get the prices tomorrow. Do it, do it, uh, do it by yourself. I'm not going to be on. I will try to tweet out some things. So if you want, follow me at the B3Squad1 on Twitter. I'll try to tweet out as much as I can. Uh, if you do want to watch somebody pulling packs, my son will be pulling packs. Uh, TB3 uh, 2K um, on YouTube. He'll be he'll be streaming them all and so on and so forth. So, anyways, you're gonna want to break this down. Find the lazy filter price, break it down, and then just buy and resell. Buy and resell. Buy and resell. I, I that's the first way, right? 
Uh, I would definitely not recommend going to 87s and sitting on that filter. I think that's going to be a lost cost. But that's the first way that you can definitely make coins tomorrow is just by sniping and reposting. The normal stuff, right, guys? If you have a low stack of coins, sit on the 80 filter. If you have a medium stack, sit on the 84 filter. That is the safest way to handle things tomorrow. The second thing you can do, guys, is go to the re-rolls tomorrow. There will be re-rolls. When you go to the training set, there will definitely be re-rolls, like I said. It will be over here somewhere. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to be 80 plus. My guess is since there's an 80 and an 84 and an 87, most likely, in these packs. We're not sure on the 87 yet, but usually there is. Plus, there's an LTD. But anyways, 80 and 84, that means... The training is probably going to be somewhere in there. So 80 is quick sell for 200 training, 84 sell for 970. I I am afraid it's going to be like 600 to 650 per roll. Something tells me it's going to be that high. Maybe higher. Maybe 700. I don't know. I don't know. And if that's the case, if it's 700, we bought our training pretty cheap, guys. We definitely bought our training pretty cheap. But if it's 700... That's going to cost us 15000 per roll. So that means 80s are going to be an L. 84s are going to be a decent W. That's, I mean, I know, we, I know I told everybody to invest in training, and my God, I'm sticking with it. But that's not necessarily good. We expected 80s and uh, 82s and 89s is what we expected. But they threw a curveball. That's okay. We'll adjust. Not a big deal. But... Rerolls when you bought the training for cheap, you should be fine. Overall, you should be fine. I'm expecting to make about, you know, maybe now I was expecting to make about three, about two and a half to three million profit off of this promo. I'm probably now sitting at, yeah, probably a million and a half. That's about what I'm expecting when I just project my numbers out. Don't ask me how I project, I just project. Um, so I'm hoping. Odds are going to be where I want them to be. I'm feeling that their 87s are not going to be terrible odds. I'm feeling like the 84s are going to come out of the packs at a steady rate. I'm feeling like I should make about a million and a half to two million in, and so on and so forth. So that is the second way to make coin. And is that the easiest way to make coin? No, it's a risk. Rerolls are always going to be a risk. However, when you have a lot of coins, it is fun to do. It is definitely fun to do. And the third method for tomorrow is going to be doing the 90 overall set now it's not in here obviously it's not in here uh we'll flash it on top of our screen right now so you can see that it is going to take 587s to make a 90 now can this be a coin making method yes but most of the time this is just to fill your team right so any five players that you put in there you get those five specific players back which means in theory in theory, not a great idea, but you can do this. You can put the five cheapest guys in there, get those five guys back, quick sell those guys for training, which will be a very low value, by the way, and then sell the 90. As long as you do your math, you can you can sometimes make coins or get training cheap. Now, the way things have been going this year, the, those end cats that you're going to get back, the, uh, the account bound cards are going to be worth like 200, right? Training, maybe less. And that's not necessarily worth it. However, it's something that you can do. Now, for me, perfect you know, example for me, I'm going to put five cards that I want on my team into that set. I'll make the 90 and sell the 90 and then keep those five cards on my team. That's a good way to build your team full of higher overalls for a cheap price for the most part. And mo I would venture to say, and I could be wrong, but I would say if you do that, you might be spending 100 k after selling the nine, you might be spelling, you might only be uh, spending a hundred k, and by spending a hundred k and getting five cards, that's twenty eighty sevens or no five eighty sevens for twenty k EP. So that's definitely something else that I will be doing. Those three things are going to lead to you getting profit tomorrow and building your team up if you want. Um, but guys, I will be streaming tomorrow night. I got to work a nice 16-hour shift, but I will be back tomorrow night. I will definitely be back tomorrow night. Like I said before, my son will be streaming all his roles. He's got 250,000 training, two, two, over 2 million coins yet. He'll be streaming uh, tomorrow, TB3 at uh, two, TB32K on YouTube. He'll be streaming. Make sure you guys drop him a, a sub when you're there. Tell him I sent you. 
And uh, let's hope that the odds are good. You might see some, like I said, some tweets out tomorrow from me telling you guys what filter's popping um, and what I'm doing and how the odds are for me and so on. So, guys, I got to get going. I got to get grinding. I got to get more training. We need to get ourselves up to 250000 I can't let my kid beat me. I can't let my kid beat me. But I'll see you later.